What's going on YouTube? It's Mike here. Today guys in this video, we're going to be taking an in-depth look at iOS 7 on the iPad. So here it is after a single beta, Apple decided for the second beta version of iOS 7 to release it to iPads. This here is on an iPad mini black 16 gigabyte. Uh, don't, not if any of that matters, but it is an iPad mini uh, if you're wondering. And I gotta say, pretty pretty far, it's actually okay. I mean, it's there's a lot of bugs to be fixed. Uh, when I say pretty okay, I think it's really good, but uh, I see room for improvement as with every beta um, of iOS. But today in this video, we're gonna be taking a look at everything uh, that's new about it and just kind of a bigger look at iOS 7 on the iPad. So before we jump into anything, let's first have a look at our home uh, lock screen, which we'll just do by hitting the uh, lock button and looking at the home button. As you can see here, uh, we've got an all kind of new look at the home screen and it shares pretty much the same exact look uh, as you'd get on the iPhone. However, uh, the iPad is in landscape, of course, for this uh, video. Um, but you know, if you could see when I move it around, well, you probably can't get a very good idea here since we're on a flat surface. Um, but if I do move it around, it, whether the lock screen or the home screen, just like in iOS 7 for the uh, the smaller mobile devices, the iPhone and the iPod Touch. Uh, when you move the background, uh, it does move based on the way in the position your phone's in, you know, up, down, sideways, and stuff like that. It does the same exact thing. And I actually think the feature is a lot better on the iPad mini since every, or any iPad in general, since there's a lot more room and everything's a lot bigger, so there's a lot more space. So, uh, you know, you get that opportunity. But so, anyways, so it's pretty basic and straightforward. I'll just scroll down the. Uh, lock screen right here and as you can see it's it's like you know the same thing that you would get uh, as you can see here I have a couple notifications uh, today it's got some information missed and again just like uh, you would get uh, in iOS 7 on the smaller mobile devices and then control center is a little bit different I love the way control center looks on the iPad uh, in particular, it's all different the way it looks, especially landscape. Everything, everything in iOS 7 on the iPad, uh, in my opinion, looks better uh, in landscape, especially uh, control center, the way it's looked out. There, there are little bugs here and there that make things bigger than they should be and stuff like that, like the music down here, uh, the artist and the title is very close, and sometimes it'll glitch really bad, but we got everything here. We got music, volume, airplane mode, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth. Uh, do not disturb, portrait orientation, airdrop, airplay, uh, and we're missing a couple icons here that we are from the uh, iPhone version of iOS. We actually just have the clock and the camera toggle. Uh, we're missing the flashlight since there's no flash on the back of the iPad mini. Well, there's not any flash on the back of iPads. And we're also missing calculator, also not a stock app on the iPad. And that just slides down, and again, the lock screen is basically the same. You could just slide to unlock, and obviously here I have a passcode, but if you just swiped over, it would unlock. And then also right in the right corner, uh, right bottom corner here, you can't really see it, but the camera toggle is there. If I swipe up, we are granted with the camera app with all the new features. And if we just hit the home button, head back to the lock screen, and voila. As you can see, looks just the same as it does in iOS 7 uh, for the other devices. I'll probably be saying that a lot today. Um, but you can see the look of it is all very nice, and I will take a second here to move uh, the iPad around. You could kind of see the background move. I don't know. It's a little bit hard to do in landscape, but it is moving, I promise. And like I said, the feature is a lot better on iPad since the screen is a lot bigger. Uh, now, this is the default layout of the home screen. If we swipe over here, uh, you could see my uh, pre the not the pre-install, the apps that users installed, which is me, of course. Um, and so, you know, nothing's different with the pages. We're swiping down here with Spotlight, as you could see. Um, which is full keyboard everything no need to worry and we could still uh, split our keyboard and then we can also move the dock whichever way so we could just close the keyboard and we can have it in any position of the iPad we could even have it on the top if we wanted depending on how we type didn't know if you guys knew you could do that uh, you could swipe up there and so that's pretty much it so let's have a closer look at some of these apps starting with FaceTime and as you can see FaceTime is pretty simple and straightforward of course there is me uh, and we have the whole thing of myself and FaceTime right here and then on the side I just I did this to block out my contacts but on the side here you have your contacts you'd be able to scroll through uh, and choose who you want to call let's take a look at calendar real quick as you can see very nice look even better the way it looks on the iPhone because on the you know the iPhone it's a lot more restrained for especially the yearly calendar uh, but let's just go for a month here for a second and as you can see very white scale the only thing red uh, or anything colored at least besides the black on the uh, the numbers as at the top which you could select day week month year uh, and then the what date it is is highlighted in red I don't know how well you could see that um, and that's 
pretty pretty much it so next we'll have a look at photos as you can see here these are the albums camera just the same uh, as it was in iOS 7 here you can see my hand of course uh, I'll go ahead and flip to the front camera which is at the top again we are in landscape mode so there I am what's going on guys uh, and we can actually move to a video section if we wanted to and uh, photos square for the Instagram thing and we have the interesting thing about on the iPad mini I don't know if it's there for the four or the three or whatever device you're using but um, there's no filter section built in here and I don't think it's on this iPad mini at all I guess it's just not a feature included by the way this airdrop was a feature that was included as you can see we're having a look at contacts here this is just the basic thing I just pulled up Apple's contact that's preloaded into my phone um, and it hasn't really changed that much. The coloring is a lot better, and it's it's not that address book sort of schematic uh, look to it. It looks a lot better, and it's all black and white, much like the uh, OS itself. Here's what clock looks like on the iPad and iOS 7. We got world clock, uh, alarm. Looks like my world clocks are set. Stopwatch. Um, and timer it's like it went from black to white and it's still got the same big look that it had in the iPad version of iOS 6 Here's a look at maps on the iPad and iOS 7 notes in iOS 7 the notes are to the side here Just blocking them out and then also uh, You can see it's all white no more marker felt or yellow paper pad It's all white and black you can see it looks very uh, Very modern and pretty nice too reminders the layout change I hate the most which makes it incredibly more confusing um, and I just wish it would go back to the normal way it was. It was so much better then. Photo Booth, one of the least popular apps on the iPad, in my opinion, introduced on the iPad 2. Let's see if we could get a crazy looking photo frame here. You can see me. Uh, pretty much the same. I'll just take a picture here. Okay, here you go. We can do some photo viewing here. But the same thing as it's always been. It just just a fresher look. Here's a look at Game Center. Got that all new bubble look to it. Uh, things I noticed some glitches. The points is built into the bubble when you rotate it horiz uh, horizontally. I don't know if it does it vertically too. Uh, and also, Mike's iOS help is the P is kind of cut off. It doesn't look that great. Uh, but we got friends, games, challenges, and turns. Um, and the most annoying thing is in iOS 7 beta 2, the turns glitches, uh, where you can't, it's, it says auto match player, uh, you can't shut it off, you can't delete it, you can't use it, you can't run it, um, it's really annoying. Newsstand, uh, pretty much <laughs> the same thing, you can see the background behind it, same thing as, uh, my video on the iPhone in iOS 7. Look at the app store. And of course, settings. Gotta love settings. And by the way, in iOS 7 Beta 2 now, uh, you can change the voice gender, male or female. I chose male. We'll just check it out, see how it sounds. You can see the new look is shown and full screen versus uh, in previous versions of Siri on the iPad and iOS. Uh, it was small screen and it was just a little version down here. Nope, not taking requests here. You could just see what you can ask it. And again, full screen, which I like a lot. And uh, even the female voice, it's not the old sound. It sounds a lot better, uh, more clear, more understandable. A look at messages on the iPad. You can see some of the conversations that I have there. Not gonna, I'm gonna show all of them, but uh, you can see a new message there. Uh, pretty simple, straightforward, you know, the keyboard and everything. Here's a look at mail and iOS 7. Uh, this is one of my favorite updates so far. I love the way it looks, how clean it is. Um, and also, especially on the iPhone when you're swiping to delete uh, and stuff like that. Just, I mean, there weren't, weren't really features revamped. Just, just the look of it, uh, I think, looks a lot better than the blue bars. And just having it all black and white now is pretty good. Uh, here we have an app that is um, soon to come. I'm not going to open it or touch it. You guys are just going to have to look closely and figure it out. Uh, we're just going to skip that. As you can see, Safari looks very nice, the same as it did. <laughs> Everything's the same. Uh, the same looks it shares uh, with the iPhone and iPod Touch and iOS 7. Here's a look at Apple's website. Um, you know, just the look of it, you know, no more blue bar or black bar if you want private browsing. I actually don't even know if private browsing is still a turn on feature uh, in settings. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, but as you can see, it's got a very nice look to it. Got some new options at the top, like they re re revamped it. Uh, if we have a look here, uh, you can see Steve Jobs' glasses there, a little hidden feature with the add to reading list. And just the same as you got on the iPhone, bookmarks, cloud, and you can make new tabs and stuff like that. Now, the music app has one of my least favorite updates, only because when you start playing songs now, you can't go full screen with the uh, album cover anymore. It's kind of like... Uh, where you get it in iTunes for the PC you don't you don't get on the iPad now You don't get the full screen art cover like you used to it's just a little bar that sits at the top So as you can see while I'm playing music here. I can't tap this or make it bigger or anything um, And so here's a look at iTunes radio and iOS 7, you know, it's also in here. I'll just hit uh, pop hits And it'll start playing something. I don't even know 
Uh, but that's also on iOS 7, uh, iTunes Radio, which is one of my favorite features and starting to heavily consider if I should discontinue my Spotify subscription or not. And that's pretty much it, guys. That's a basic look at iOS 7 uh, on the iPad. Again, this is the beta version of iOS 7, and it's not complete yet. Uh, this is the second beta. The first one was only for iPhone and iPod Touch, but uh, starting at beta 2, now it's all available for the iPad Mini, the iPad 3, and the iPad 4, and also the iPad 2. The only one excluded uh, is the iPad 1. You're going to be able to get the final release of this this fall. Uh, we're looking at a mid-September release. However, if you would like to get it now, uh, you can check the link in the description to get it absolutely free for iOS 7 right now. Uh, no, there's no, like, uh, you don't have to pay for a UDID spot, you don't have to be a developer. There's a glitch out right now that Apple could soon possibly be, uh, patching, so go use it now while you can. There will be a link in the description again to go check it out. And guys, that's pretty much it for this video. If you liked it, please leave some comments below on your thoughts. Of course, rate, give this video a thumbs up, and click the subscribe button below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.